Hello friends! Today we have quite an extensive haul. I got rose tea brewing in the rose saucer cup thing. It's iconic. Definitely grab a glass of something because this is gonna be a long one. So I didn't put any makeup on today because I might be doing a little bit of a try on. I purchased a ton of new products on the market. Like you don't even understand. She went in for 2022. I am not messing around. We are making everyone feel like this, the celebrity, like the queen that they are, okay? So I like to spoil my clients. I like to give them the best of the best, the Rolls Royce of makeup. So here we go with this haul. Also, I just wanna say, you probably already know this, I have been in the makeup industry going on 10 years. And so I like to stick with the same products. I don't like to switch it up, but if I do and I really like something, it becomes my obsession. Majority of this entire haul is new, completely new makeup that I've never tried, hoping that it hits every mark that we need it to. Let's just jump into it. First of all, one of my favorite brands currently is Charlotte Tilbury. She knocks it out of the park, the packaging, but the quality too. And she is a makeup artist, so I don't have the actual shipping box with me. This has already been opened, but I started using some new products on my model this week. I got the package before a shoot one day and I was like, I don't wanna wait, but I waited with everything else. So these are the things that I bought from Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, I wanted to try her new beautiful skin foundation. And I'm over here thinking I bought a light, a medium and a dark. Meanwhile, this is like still light <laughs> and that's number six. So what I'm used to for perspective is this is 4N in Dior. This is six, okay? So can you understand where my confusion came from? This is not dark at all. This is like me with a spray tan, so that's still light. Um, however, I love these foundations. I first heard of them with Michaela on TikTok. These just came out. They're a bit pricey, I think, for the amount of foundation, but I do like the fact that it has a pump, and I like that the bottle is like flexible because that saves a lot of space in my kit. Like this is like no space at all. Um, and then I also bought a baby magic cream. I was gonna go for the full jar of magic cream. And I have purchased this before and I do love it for before makeup. It's a tie between this and It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. However, I like that this, I feel like stays a little bit more malleable. Like there's a slick to it. And I love that before makeup. And something new that I'm trying from her too is a baby Wonder Glow primer. I think I thought this was the serum. I wanted to buy the little size of both of these, again, to save space in my kit. And she offers these refills now. What I mean by refills is like, these are two hot lips that I bought, which are her lipsticks in Glowing Gen and JK Magic. And she doesn't give you the ends of the tubes. It's just the lipsticks. So this is great for makeup artists. Makeup artists who are building their kit. I was gonna see if I had my lip palette around, but I don't think I do. For artists who wanna just put the lipsticks right back in into an organizer. I have to say too, the smell of the Magic Cream is really nice and luxurious. I would love to spoil my clients with that. And it looks like the Wonder Glow Primer has luminosity to it. So let's see how that looks on my skin. Zooming in. Doesn't even look like I'm glowing. <laughs> Does it? Okay, that wasn't as intense as I thought it was gonna be. It felt nice. <laughs> instant soft focus okay what do we think hard to tell with primers so each their damn own okay should we try the beautiful skin i think i'm gonna mix one and three on myself now online they match me to a three and i match myself to a one and i think i'm somewhere in between them one looks a little pale yeah that seems about right I mean, this on Michaela on TikTok was like epic. So I was like, let's try it. I tried this on a model at Mixology. I really 
love the finish of it, but I do feel like I still have to find my flow with using it because I feel like maybe a beauty blender could be better than a brush. But I think it just looks so natural. I think this foundation works better when you bounce it. Some foundations are just like that versus swiping it. I think that looks just so gorgeous on the skin. It's not laying as flawlessly as I would like it to. I think I need to use a beauty blender with this. I think this is a bounce foundation. <laughs> like where you have to really like push it. But overall, that's gorgeous. I bought these two nudes because I feel like I just needed a better range of nudes. And these looked really nice. I didn't really plan this video out as far as like, am I doing my makeup? I think I'm just leaving the skin bare to try things out. I don't think I'm doing a full tutorial with everything. Okay, next this is my next unbox. I bought the music box from Scuffles. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, first of all, it's pink. Obviously, you know why I like this. <laughs> oh my God. See, I'm a sucker for boxes. I'm a sucker for pink boxes. But what the heck does this remind you of? Because I can tell you what it reminds me of. <laughs> Luxury. Scott, do me and your designer need a chat? I think we're on the same page. <laughs> How freaking beautiful is this? Why did I buy this palette? I have not found a palette yet that has everything in it that I need. This is the closest thing that I've found so far. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't even know what it sang. How cute is that? Have you seen this done yet in makeup? Cause I don't think so. Okay, so not only is this going to make people beautiful, it's gonna light people up with a smile. How stunning. Just bravo, bravo. <laughs> um, I'm sure you've seen, seen this done before, but the way I love to view palettes is like you cover them up and like, just look at that in a line. Those are all your neutrals. And then, you know, you can make them into quadrants or whatever. There's so many looks to be done in this palette alone. Holy crap, I'm like blown away. Can you see this? <laughs> Can you see this? Holy shit. And then wait, it gets better. There's a drawer. Okay, though I can't open the drawer. Ugh. Maybe I really gotta get into that ribbon. Okay, there we go. Wait, wait for the music. I think this is probably the, probably the best invention for makeup because that literally just gave me an experience. Remember when you used to get those Sephora palettes and they had these, but it wasn't like good? <laughs> Sorry, Sephora. Um, now we actually have the luxury version. Wow. How easy is this to set up? Like if you're just doing a bride, like what more do you need than this, than this right here? Scott Barnes, you killed I killed it. Wow. I cannot freaking wait. Can I dip into one? I just need to dip into one of these. There's glitters in here. There's shimmers. Good. Wow. Is that on my brown bone? Oh my God, it's a sparkly JLo highlighter. You know when she's like frosted? I love that. I can't deal. All I have to say is thank you. Thank you, Scott Barnes. Thank you. Because this has been missing. My one concern is how, I'm, how am I gonna travel with this? Because it is a little bulky, but we're gonna make that work because sweetie, that is the most gorgeous palette I think I've ever used. And I like that it kind of matches my vibe. Wow. Okay, I'm excited for 2022 just because of that palette. I don't think anything's really gonna top that. Okay, are you ready for this? Because I'm not. This is the Nigel Beauty haul. Nigel Beauty, if you're a pro makeup artist, definitely go here for all of your goodies because they give a pro discount. Let's get rid of these guys. So many amazing things already. Let me know if I should do a video putting this into my kit because I don't know how I'm gonna do that. How am I gonna reorganize and fit all this stuff? Well, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to unbox this and then we'll go through it because everything's wrapped. 
and I want to take it out of the wrapping because it's just gonna be really loud on the camera. Be right back. All right, let's first start with tools and what do you call these, utilities. I picked up three little packs of these pointed Q-tips because if you're ever doing like a winged liner and you need to clean up some areas, these are your best friends. And then I also picked up a pack of powder puffs. I stopped using these a couple years ago. I'm just re-inspired really to use these powder puffs. For powder foundations, They, it's just a technique that makes the skin so smooth. So I'll replenish that. I also picked up a Danessa Myricks Flexi Palette. I own quite a few of these. It's like a little pill box. I own quite a few of these Danessa Myricks foundations and it comes with 10 little wells. So this is so much more condensed than the full bottle in my kit. While I do like to carry the full bottle of many things, it takes up a lot of space in my kit. So now this whole roll of foundations will be condensed into that little guy. And I also got an extra large Makeup Forever palette, similar to the Z palette, but this one, the top comes completely off. You could save space while you're working. And I also like the durability of this tin palette. And I love that you can see through it. These are good if you're gonna buy like any MAC eyeshadows or loose, you know, Anastasia, anywhere, Makeup Geek. You can completely fill this customizably, which when I was replenishing my kit this year, I was like, what am I missing? You know, what, what could make this better? And so these couple things. I also next got a Dermacolor Camouflage Cream Palette in uh, D1, I believe. And these are the colors. This is like theater makeup. This won't budge. This is the fullest coverage concealer you can use. I like using this to sculpt the face. Is this bright enough for me? Let's see. Yeah, see, I feel like that's the brightest highlighter. It's not too light. It mixes well with other foundations and it just doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's wax based but I can't be too sure. Literally, theater makeup. A lot of celebrity makeup artists use these and pray to God that these caps stay on. <laughs> Next, we have so many goodies to go through. All right, what's in this bag? Let's see. Oh, okay, so I love that they piled this together. I actually bought a ton of stuff from Danessa Myricks specifically. I like one supporting other makeup artists who have created cosmetics just cause. But then on top of that, they really understand how to create a product because they've been working with them for years. So firstly, I bought the Lightwork palette from Danessa. This is a highlighter palette, which I felt like I had to step up my highlighter game, especially for all skin tones. And I feel like this has a perfect combination of every single skin tone you could ever need. Also that Scott Barnes palette has a couple of highlighters, but you wanna get some in different formulas sometimes because not everybody loves a full glow. You know what I mean? Ooh, yes, let's try this on immediately. I'm using Common Sense. Yep, yep, say no more. Say no more, let's do like duh, like duh. Vanessa, I love you. Yeah, obviously. I mean, obviously. <sighs> obviously. Oh my God. Put that all over. Just, it's a snow day on Long Island today. Put it all over. <laughs> if you don't follow Vanessa Myricks on Instagram, like all of her models have this insane, insane glow. And I, it's from that and it's from this. This is, the Illuminating Veil, which is a cream highlighter. Let's pop this baby open. Oh yes. So I bought the more pinky, pearly highlighter. I think this works on a lot, a lot of skin tones, but I actually have the full line of this, the darker colors, uh, but I ran out of this one because I used it so much, Serenity. So a quick little tip if you're a makeup artist shopping, sometimes I'll see what I go through the most. You can use this. I put too much on, but so you could use this. What I would have li liked to do is put it on before. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm having a, I'm having a moment. I would have liked to put that on before, but it doesn't matter. You could put this on. 
your eyes. There's like a sheen. Oh my god, help. I think this needs to go viral, this Prada. And then I'm just gonna put it on my neck. I wouldn't like actually do that. I would put it more on my chest, but because my shirt is covering it, we won't. Yeah, brides, you're not ready. You're not ready for this year. <laughs> Get ready to be a walking icon. If I could recommend one product to step up your makeup game, get the Illuminating Bill. And they come in minis too. Okay, the next, Danessa Myricks Lux Cream Palette. Specifically bought this because I'm very, very, very into cream blushes. However, when I was assessing my kit, I found myself using more so lipsticks on the face, which is fine, but I feel like it doesn't have that blendability. And you could do that. You can use lipsticks as blush. But I wanted tones that complemented deeper skin more because I could always mix these and sheer them out for lighter skin tones. And we wanna make sure we have all avenues covered. Let's try one on me. Which one should we do? Do these have colors? Oh, they're colored by number. We're going with this one, which is number. I don't know, I'm confused. Tell me that this doesn't look like that. Top right, hot pink. This is saying the bottom right is hot pink. So I guess we're reading it from this. Okay. Then that would mean that I'm using number 10, I guess. And that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear cream blush. I'm just so into that hydrated skin look this year. Nothing too mad, just like glowy and healthy. <laughs> And that was the Lux Cream Palette in The Feminist. Next, I bought three uh, balm contours. Again, creams, light two, medium one, deep one. Let's see how these colors are. Because shopping online, color-wise, takes hours for me. Because I really, really, really look up the swatches, make sure the undertones seem right. So let's hope that these delivered. And also I like keeping the kit condensed. Light, medium, dark, and then we mix. Can't always get away with that with products, but we try. This is light too. And like bravo everybody on the packaging. I don't want this to fall out, okay. Yes. Looking luxurious, looking expensive, not as expensive as, you know, freaking Tom Ford over here, but giving the same thing. That's gorgeous. I wanted to buy contours that had more warmth versus taupe, because I've used taupe my whole life, but I'm just, I'm into that more like contour and bronze at the same time this year products. I love that. That's light too. Yeah, we could get away with this for so many skin tones. And that blended like butter. I like that better than the Charlotte Tilbury contour, to be honest. Next we have medium one, which looks like this. Let's see that color. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. Accentuating a bride's tan, yes. And then I'll show you this one. I have trouble in general on the market finding a contour for deep skin tones. So I will try this on my deepest girl. That doesn't look dark enough, does it? Mm, I mean, we'll find out. It looks darker in the pan than I just swatched, but I'm gonna play around with it and we'll see how those perform. And so far, so amazing. Next bag, a bunch of goodies. We've got a bunch of dip brow, anesthesia dip brow. I feel like, I like buying products that you could use for, you know, filling in a brow or drawing on a new brow. It's like a one-stop shop and it's waterproof. There's just so much control and versatility with the dip brow. So I just replenish every single color. I also have brow whizzes, which I think are great. And you can use them all on your brows in one day. I also got Anesthesia Brow Freeze. Can't wait to use this. I have soap brows, but I've been seeing 
so many cool things with this. It's a clear brow gel that freezes your freaking brows. I'll use my brand new, also brand new, Mist and Fix from Makeup Forever. Just a setting spray, a fixing spray, whatever you want it to do. Let's try it. Oh, I put too much. Wow. It's like glue. <gasps> Wait, zoom it in. Zoom in. Oh my God, it feels so weird. That's pretty cool. Let's see how long it takes to actually freeze. Wow, okay. This is better than soap brows in my opinion. You could really like push your brows up. I'm sure this is about to settle. Like, whoa, laminated brows to the next level. If you want that look, get this product. I can leave my hairs like that. Obviously, I'm not going to. That's very editorial, but whoa. That's amazing. Let's see how long it takes to set. That is hairspray for your eye gel, my friend. Eye gel? Eyebrow. That is hairspray gel for your eyebrow. Okay. Already said Mist and Fix. Two new primers. So now we officially have three new primers. We got a Luminous Primer. Now we have a Shine Control. Makeup Forever. I bought the little guy to save space. Fantastic primer. I used to use the Becca Matte, Poreless Matte Primer. They discontinued it. This would be my runner up. And then we also have Hourglass Airbrush Primer. This is brand new. Should have opened it. Ooh, ASMR. <laughs> I should have opened it before I did the beautiful skin foundation. Let's just put it on top. Who cares? Ooh, it's kind of like a moisturizer. That's what it looks like. Ooh, I like this. This is like skincare and primer in one. I'm a fan of that. I couldn't tell you right now if that's gonna help your makeup last but that feels really, really nice on the skin. It's not like chalky, it's almost like a serum. I love that, love that, love that, love that. How are we doing, are you still with me? Is the coffee cold yet? Okay, next we've got Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten and Starlight. This is Kitten. Nice. It's a beautiful, like champagne -y pink. And it's a cream shadow, so let's see something here. I love putting cream shadows under eyeshadow, powder shadow. I think it looks so nice. Okay, let me use the other one on the other eye. Let's see. Yeah. That's more of that golden champagne. That's like my go-to for brides on the lid. That golden, it's actually darker than I thought it would be. But if you put that on as a base, everything's glowy today. Base and then put your shadow over top, that is like show stopping. I feel like I should do a little powder shadow. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm just mixing Celestia and Embrace in my crease. And then let's do something on the lid. How about classic? Ooh, yeah. Oh, baby, I'm classic. A concealer I'm actually trying out for myself is in my drawer. Tarte Shape Tape. Creamy? I don't know yet. I think these, you have to use a sponge to like them, which I haven't been. Like, I still feel like I like the matte one going on outside. I don't know. Eh, that's an eh from Samantha. I wanted to pick up two new powders. I remember using this in makeup school. If you didn't know, I went to Makeup Forever Academy in Soho for six months. That's where I learned all of the makeup. This used to be one of my favorite powders. It was called Super Matte Loose. I don't know if they've changed it, but Ultra HD Setting Powder. I remember these being the best matte touch-up powders that I've ever used. And I got the shades three, which kind of covers medium to deep, and shade number one, 
Oh, this one came with a puff? But this one, oh, it did come with a puff. <laughs> let's, let's set this with the puff today. How great is that? Anyways, I remember loving it. It's definitely a more matte setting powder. And I've been loving that brands are doing this where it keeps that powder in because if you're traveling with this, what a nightmare. Such a beautiful, yeah. That's gorgeous. Iconic, it is so finely milled. It just blurs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, new favorite powder. Like what the hell, don't sleep on this. Seriously, don't sleep on makeup forever. Please, for the love of God. I look, I look poreless. And it's not a matte that like gets dry. It's just like gets rid of that shine, sets, looks amazing on camera. Hence the name HD, everything made by Makeup Forever that's HD, created with cameras in mind. And then I also got this Ben Nye powder. I didn't necessarily get this for the finish of it. I got this for the color. I feel like finding deep skin tone brightening powders are really tough. And I don't like when they're too yellow. They just show up like crazy. So this has like that beige, more beige, a beige brown because the skin is brown, deeper skin tones. So the highlight to a deep brown is a beige. So why aren't there more beige powders out there? I don't know. They're all like this stark yellow, like hello, that's gonna show up like a neon clown under some people's eyes. We're trying to make people feel their most beautiful, okay? So yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Okay, I promise I have one more bag. I really just wanna throw on some eyeliner and mascara. While we're doing this, let's use the Music Box palette as our blush today. I'm gonna use Pirouette as my blush with a little bit of plie. Putting that right over my cream blush. I mean, gorgeous, like literally. Wow. My makeup that I look snatched. And then for the contour shade, I'm gonna go right with this. Teeth. How's that highlighter? She needs some popping. It's good that I messed around with it because now we can try out these highlighters. This is like a pinky highlighter. Wow. JLo, are you in my mirror? We don't need to sell this. It's selling itself. Damn. That's not only great, that is fantastic. And now we finish off the haul. Continuing with Scott Barnes. I didn't get a discount on the big palette, but I do get a discount on other items. This is actually my first um, time seeing these, which, um, which is so awesome. I remember I did a training with Scott in LA and on his wall, he had like a, he had like this photo of his, um, what do you call that? You know, those stands in Sephora. I forget what it is and I was just like you're coming out with more makeup because he only had a couple at the time and now it's just so amazing to see these all into fruition and they look like so luxurious and expensive and beautiful mm. okay so this gloss is called swaggy looks like a deeper plum we'll do a little swatch oh it's actually more of like a toffee nude that's beautiful that reminds me of JLo I feel like he probably uses this on her Obviously. These are called Flossy Glossies. And this one's champagne and caviar. I've been dying to get this. This one's like golden champagne. With like glitter. Classic nude. That's gonna look amazing on brides. And then this one is called Coins. Let's see this color. Again, very hard to see online. Cool, this one's more, wow, that's like a bronze. That's gonna look sick over like a peachy nude. I'm gonna use on myself champagne and caviar in a sanitary manner. <laughs> we got our lip wand. Oh, and I also bought two lip pencils. What is in here? Because this box is huge and lip pencils are not. So what's happening here? <laughs> 
Oh, it comes with a sharpener. That makes sense. How thoughtful. I hate throwing out the boxes. They're just so pretty. Ugh. Oh, thank God. Thank you for giving a sharpener. That means the other one came with a sharpener. And you know what that means? That I have backup sharpeners that are not to buy. God barns, man. I really did that. Again, like I said, love buying from makeup artists. They know what the they're doing. Okay, again, more of a true nude. This one's called Christy. And then we got Tyra. This is gonna be great on my deeper complexions. Also, now I'm convinced that I need this entire line of makeup. <laughs> this is bad. It's like a coffee brown. Should I like totally overline my lips today? Let's do, we're gonna do Christy. And I'm just gonna do, not an overline, but like a, a full fill in. This is totally a your lips but better color. Oh my God, this reminds me of kindergarten. Not even joking. There's a smell, the smell of this. Something about it. it reminds me of my youth. <laughs> okay. Lip gloss, disposable lip brush in the gloss. Let's try her out. Oh my god, look at this. They smell like vanilla. Happiness. I mean, I don't have lipstick on. That's juicy. And you know what I like? I can already feel. There's a stickiness to them, not an uncomfortable one. A one that's like, it's gotta be sticky so that it lasts. I'm literally shook. I'm looking at my makeup in the mirror. I'm like, who the hell? That's the next level. I want to sit here and play with makeup all day. That's what I want to do. See, sometimes it takes a little re-inspiration to get the momentum going. That lip gloss is crazy good. I can't even imagine if I had lip injections. If you have lip injections, I think you need the Scott Barnes lip gloss. Even if you don't, but like, if you did, if you had like full, you know, <laughs> pouty, you know, full and pouty, would just <sighs> plump them. Makeup game upgraded. If you saw the mess right now, you'd be in shock. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed unboxing this with me. But I need to ask you a question. Do you want to see me trying to organize this? <laughs> or should I, should I spare you my tears? Let me know. If there's anything that you want to try or what you're eyeing or did something like spark your interest that you didn't even know that you needed and I do. Or are you shopping for something that wasn't mentioned today? My personal favorite that I'm looking forward to using is the Music Box palette, hands down. But these lip glosses, I mean, the highlighters, the contour, I am just, I'm ready, I'm renewed. I'm re-inspired. I also want to know, it, would you like to see a full-blown tutorial? I was thinking my next video, we could go through my vanity drawer right here and I could show you my personal makeup routine. But now I even think I want to step that game up because look at my freaking makeup right now. And that wasn't even trying. I was just testing things out. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>